Hello, this is Phil Thomas from New Era Systems. Today I'm testing the, the serial port on a Comtech 570L modem. We have a customer who is very concerned about being able to use the serial port in a V.35 and so we have devised a test that should tell us exactly how good this serial port is. Now here are the components. Obviously we're looking at the modem itself and this cable on one end is a DB25, on the other end what we call a Winchester. In turn that's going to connect to a Firebird. The Firebird is known as a data error analyzer and what it does it sends signals or multiple signals to the modem, to the serial port on the modem and it works in a loopback mode. Sends a signal, waits for the response, sends a signal, waits for a response and so over a period of time you can see whether there are any errors being generated within the serial port of the modem. Now before I can even start this I have to do a couple of things and the first thing I have to do on the modem is to is to cable it from transmit to receive but before that I have to go to the menu and make sure that the buck power supply is turned off and the LMB voltage is turned off. From the main configuration menu we go to ODU. Look at the buck first. DC power. DC power is on so we need to turn it off. Now let's look at the LMB, see if there's any power going out through the receive port. And the power is off which is perfect. So now I'm going to cable from transmit to receive on the modem. Now for this test to work properly there are several parameters that need to be set up correctly. For example the transmit frequency on the modem must equal the receive frequency on the other side. Let's go and look at the receive frequency. Yep, they're both 1210, so that's fine. Of course, the other things have to be exact as well. QPSK, three quarters, and as long as the transmit and the receive are both equal, this modem should lock up when we turn it on. And if that transmits, transmit, we're going to on off. We're going to turn it on. You can see now from the status lights that it is fine and it's transmitting and receiving. Let's just go and look at the monitor port. Receive parameters 16 dB, better than 16 dB at um, 10 to the minus 9, no errors. So the modem thinks it's working perfectly. But now what we need to do, we're going to connect the Firebird and we're going to start putting a signal through the Firebird into the modem and back out to the Firebird and that will give a very good test of the the serial port on the modem. As soon as I turned the Firebird on you came up immediately with sync and it's showing no errors. That's to be expected because we believe that the serial board on this modem is good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow this to run for about an hour and at the moment it's showing 10 to the minus 5 zero errors and I'll come back in an hour and see what it's looking like. If it's still showing zero errors it should be 10 to the minus 8 something like that and then I'm going to be pretty well convinced that the serial port on this modem is working well. We've already tested the transmit receive they're working of course this is a very limited test we're not showing the output on the spectrum analyzer but that isn't the goal of this particular video just to test the serial port. So I'm going to leave this running and come back in about an hour and see what the results look like. Well I'm back it's been quite a few hours and the more observant of you may notice a change. The T-Bird that I was using this morning came up with an error at one stage when I was walking past I noticed that the display was all sevens 
and it was impossible to clear it. So I think there's a thermal problem with that T-bird. Fortunately, we have quite a few more T-birds, so I pulled another one out, made sure that it had the right V.35 interface, and installed it. So let's just look at a couple of things on this T-bird and make sure that um, it's clear how we do the testing. The T-bird depends on either getting the clock from the modem or sending the clock to the modem. In this particular case, I've got the modem set up with its internal clock and consequently over here on the T-bird I show it as an external clock which is fine. Now you can see it flipping in and out of loop, it's just telling me what it's doing. At the moment there are no errors and it's been running for two or three hours and the 0.0, .0 indicates no errors and it's uh, it's currently got through just a million loop transfers. If there had been any problems you'd see this light sync lost but in fact there are none, it's not, it's not lit so that's the number of errors, zero. This is the number of seconds, I said a couple of hours, it's 5,700 seconds. That's the time to the previous error, well there were no errors so the time is zero. And this is the number of blocks that have passed through so far. We're looking at 882,000 blocks and it's still running fine. These T-Birds have a variety of different interfaces. They slot in here. In this particular case, this is the V.35 interface that we need, but there are other interfaces for T1 and E1 and to test all kinds of different things. It's a very flexible unit. They're not used very much anymore. They were traditionally used in the old telephone days where in Europe E1 was the standard, in the US the T1 was the standard. Now everything's moved over to IP, they're not that important anymore. However, they are very good for us to test the serial port. So we're connected from here to the serial port on the modem. The modem is set up in V.35 format. You could probably see it just over there. And that's it, so everything seems to be working extremely well. We're putting a lot of data through the interface and we're not showing any errors after several hours of operation. Even with the previous T-Bird online, no errors were shown coming from the modem. The errors appeared in the T-Bird itself. So the T-Bird failed but the modem didn't. That's it. I have more modems to test so I'm going to close the video now and continue with the testing.